Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we will do part 2 of chapter Practical Geometry. In this part, we will do the construction of parallel lines using the concept of corresponding angles. Students, in part 1 of this chapter, we learn the construction of parallel lines using the concept of alternate interior angles. Now today, in this part, we will learn how to construct a line parallel to a given line from a point outside it using the concept of corresponding angles. Let's first quickly revise what are corresponding angles made by a transversal. Here, M and L are two parallel lines and P is the transversal. So, angle 1, angle 5, angle 2 and angle 6, angle 4, angle 8 and angle 3 and angle 7 are corresponding angles. Now let's start the construction. Step 1. Draw a line L with the help of a ruler and then take a point A outside this line L. Step 2 is, take a point B anywhere on line L and draw a line through point B using ruler. In step 3, with B as center and a convenient radius, draw an arc which cuts the line L at point C and line BA at point D. Students, in step 4, with A as center and the radius same as in step 3, draw an arc which cuts the line AB at point E. Now, in next step, measure DC with the help of a compass. To measure DC, place the pointed tip of the compass at point C and adjust the opening such that the pencil tip is at point B. Now, with this radius and E as center, cut the R at point F. And in the last step, join AF to draw the line M. Students, our construction is complete now. We have drawn line M parallel to line L. Now why M is parallel to L? Because we have constructed angle EAF equals to angle DBC, which are corresponding angles. Therefore, line M is parallel to line L. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then do hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook and make sure to press the bell icon. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.